So here I have the LBX10 PoE and the LBX8 PoE. Let's do a quick unboxing to see what's included in these lights. Let's go through the 8 first. All right. Yeah, pretty much everything you see. Let's almost drop this. Here you're going to have a stand adapter as well as a safety chain. So if you want to use a light stand, this is what you would use. Otherwise, you could just use a mega clamp with this. And of course, there's a safety chain included. And then there's light itself. All right, so now let's see what's in the LBX 10 PoE. It's going to be very similar to what the 8 came with. On the bottom of the box, let me slide it out. It's gonna go ahead and just, if you can find the stand. Oh, okay. Comes a little box here. There you're gonna again get the stand adapter as well as the safety chain. And then of course you're gonna get the light itself. So since these are the first PoE lights in the market, one of the common questions we get is how do they power the lights via PoE? Well, you're going to need a switch that runs 802.3 BT Type 4. So that is the standard that the PoE++ these lights require. And after that, you're going to need a cable that is at least CAT6 and 24 AWG or better. So you can have a 6A or CAT7 cable and it work. And as long as the AWG is better than 24, so anything lower number like 23 or 22 would be perfect. And we do recommend it that the cables are shielded as well. So this is the back of the LBX10 PoE light, and you're gonna get a RJ45 PoE port, a USB update port, and then you get in and out for five pin XLR DMX512. And on this other end, you get the LCD screen, a back button, a scroll knob that also acts as an inter button itself. And then you're gonna get a three pin XL offer power in case you do not wanna use PoE. So let's go ahead and see what we have on the back of the light. On the back of the light, you get the PoE in port, which you can power the light, a USB update port, an on and off button, a barrel, power barrel, in case you want to power it non via PoE. And then you have LCD screen, a control knob that also acts as a button, then the back button. On-screen controls include the intensity, the color temperature from 3200 to 5600 Kelvin. Then you can change the DMX address. And the net state over here is where you can switch between ArtNet or SACN, or if you want, you can turn it off and just use local controls. And with net state on, you can control the IP address, the IP mode, which allows you to switch from DHCP or static. And then last, you can control the lights universe. If you want to learn more about Lyra POE lights, you can visit us at iCanCorp.com.